Welcome back to Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. So having finished up events in the Fairy Playground, we have uh, returned here to Castaway Cove just to uh, finish up on uh, a couple of quests and uh, things that we left open the last time. Um, so first of all, we're going to pop over here and we're going to get this here for one. Yes, please. Get some guilders, please. And then uh, we're going to... well, look at this here. More guilders. Or a flan. I'll have a flan. Anyhow, you might recall this uh, this couple here, this traveling merchant and his missus. And uh, the missus here is in want of some kindness. So let's see if we can give her some, shall we? Wait, don't we have kind... We don't have... I thought we had kindness. We have courage. We don't have kindness. Okay, not a problem. We'll come back, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll find some courage and then, I mean, find some kindness and then come back and give it to her. But, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see them around. Again, they're a bit of a recurring thing, that couple. Well, I think we first saw them in uh, Ding Dong Dell, and then possibly in Alma Moon, and now here. Now, the next port of call is this little buddy here, this little crab. So, ever since we got nature's tongue, we can now speak to animals. So he sent us on a mission to find his little crabby friend. Uh, we found your missing friend, Mr. Crab. Really? Did you bring him back? Well, you see... Basically, his crabby friend is uh, out on a little island there, and uh, he's living it up, really. And he wants his friend to know that he is doing well. So he washed up on a desert island, did he? Still, it sounds like he's having a cracking time. Well, why don't you go pay him a visit? A visit? Hmm. Yes, perhaps I will. He did invite me, after all. Listen, thank you ever so much for finding him. Please, take this. It's the least you deserve for getting all that trouble. Sweet, let me get some coffee and some guilders. I mean, I'll take it. And some stamps. I will take all of those. Thank you. Okay, I, yeah, I think for me, the, the real takeaway there is the coffee. I mean, coffee's awesome in this game. Heck, even in real life, coffee's awesome. It doesn't necessarily restore your MP, as it does in this game, but, you know, I'll, I will take it. Okay, having done that there, we are now going to leave Castaway Cove and head out onto the open seas, because there's a couple of giblets that we need to take care of here. So yeah, oddly enough, when you return to Castaway Cove, you can't dock your ship. Oh, no, 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 you have to, you have to land on the shore here. Now, here we go. So first port of call is that island directly up ahead. And we want to have a little word, we want to have words with this cat. This cat with attitude. Strutting about like he owns the place. And he probably does own the place. Let's have a word with him. Come on. Puss in bouts. Puss and Bouts, and his friend Catpurse and Paloina. So we'll start off with Mighty. So yeah, as you guys have guessed, this is a bounty. Uh, let's focus on the Paloina, first of all. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Well done. Okay, cut loose. I love Mikey's cut loose, because it's usually faster than the attacks that the enemy are using. And it does mean that we can usually get an attack or so in before them. Focus on this guy. Okay, we're not dealing as much, that's okay. We've still got him. Come on. Oh. Et voila. Alright, Mikey's getting a bit tired. Come back, let's uh, hit this guy with some with a pulse. Nice. And... Do you want to go out, Hank? Oh yeah, Hank's gonna wreck. There we go. Bounty hunt done. Bounty hunt done. Alright, Gem is leveling up, so that is one bounty hunt done. 
Now we have another one. So, back on the map, I believe there was... There's one floating about around here somewhere. Is it you? No. Because you're chasing me. Is it you? No, because you're chasing me as well. Could it be you? No. Oh, hang on. There he is. There he is. This... What is this, a whale? <laughs> Hubba Blubber. Let's go. Alright, so this is another bounty hunt. Hunter Blubber. Oh, I mean Hubba Blubber, rather. Uh, let's go Warcry. Play into the sky. Yikes. Okay, come on, let's keep up the attack. And time to pull back and defend. Um, let's heal Esther. He doesn't have VMP. Oh, finally, we're going to see Mr. Drippy's tidy tears. So, this is an ability. So I think at the end of the last episode, um, the little message we got was that he finally got his act together and he's going to start using Tidy Tears to help us in battle, which is great. Because if you just look, he's healed us all and our attack and defense has uh, gone up as well. So that's a, that's a nice little thing. Proper tidy move on his part. Well done. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, this one just takes a little longer to fall down. That's fine. That is it, Swain. That is it. Lovely. Okay. Not the bounty hunt done. Now, let's see. So, if we carry on that way, the fairy playground is directly ahead. We want to be going north... east-ish. So, in kind of that direction. Oh. Okay, let's, uh... Let's get on over there. Yeah, so uh, I think from this point on, I mean, yeah, these guys, they are small potatoes. They're not an issue. But when we get to Hamlin, we'll definitely notice that some of the enemies there are a little on the tougher side. So we might make a beeline straight for the city. Because uh, we want to stay alive. And even though we have a decent squad, we, uh, we're not... Yeah, we, 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 we lack the equipment for this place. So let's land. And uh, let's just check the old map. So this is the Pig Iron Plain. This is the south, and we want to be going there to Hamelin. Now there's uh, a lot of robotic enemies around here. Robotic and automaton-based ones. And as you can see, they like to give chase sometimes. But we should be able to outrun them, for the most part, because we did increase. Uh, we we did get one of the the little uh, swift solution upgrades that let us increase the speed at which we run. So that is good, and uh, yeah, this is where we're going. Hamelin. Let's see what's uh, what it's like. Hamelin, Palace of the Porcine Prince. Crikey, this place is flippin' massive. Nito, there are machines everywhere. Careful, Oliver. Your eyes are gonna pop out of your head if you're not careful. No, no, they're not. I was just saying. Haha, <laughs> anyway, never mind the machines. Look over there. Vrati Nora, what the heck is he wearing? He kinda looks like a pig. Jeepers. Oh, it's Oliver. Jeepers, take a look around. They're all dressed like pigs. Damn it, what the hell? Huh? Is it just me or is Swain behaving a little strangely today? Do you think so? He might be, I guess. Right, you lot have fun looking around. I'm off. Huh? Wait, Swain! Jeez, what's with him? Indeed, what is with Swain? Why do you just run off like that? 
Hmm, suppose he wants to be alone. Honestly, he just does whatever he pleases. Bah, leave him to it, man. We'll have more fun without him, the stroppy so-and-so. Okay, Swain has left the party. Drink great. Now, who have we got here? Looks like Horace. So let's have a little word with him. And, uh, where is... Spirit... Nope. Spirit Medium. Let's see what he has to say. It's nice to see you again, Ollie. The city's quite something, isn't it? Have you ever seen so many machines? It's your idea of fun. If, if your idea of fun is tinkering with cogs and caskets... Gaskets, this is the place for you. Uh, it sure is. Oh, so you like machines? I'm really keen on having a familiar with the Otonopaton family myself. And speaking of familiars, it looks like you've built up quite a monster menagerie. Yes, I guess, but it was mostly Esther. She sure is good with critters. Well, maybe she can help you with my next question then. I think you're going to like it. Somewhere in your wizard's companion, there's a picture of the wizard wars that once raged throughout this land. Squint hard at it, and you'll find some great examples of creatures from the Automata genus. My question is this. How many creatures from the Automata genus are in the picture? As you're no stranger to familiars, I'm sure you'll get it right away. Let me know when you've got an answer for me. Okay, so he said from the Wizard's Companion. I know what the answer is. I'm just seeing if we can find said picture. Uh, let's go all pages. Would this be the picture from the Wizarding Wars? Is this it? I mean, maybe, I'm guessing. Ah, okay, so I think this must be it. Alright, so it's just a case of looking at this here and counting the aut number of automata familiars. I count one, two, three, four, f uh, five. Yeah, five. I think, yeah, that. Yeah, so basically the answer is five. But yeah, so uh, this should be the picture, I believe. Interesting. So uh, let's let Horace know. Did you find the picture of the Wizard Wars in your Wizard's Companion? And how many creatures from the Automata Genius did you find? Should we, not G Genius, Genus. Five. You got it, Ollie. Hmm, maybe that was too easy. As you can tell from the picture, machines existed even at the time of the Wizard Wars. Say, Horace, what were the Wizard Wars? I know this one. They were those legendary wars from thousands of years ago, innit? If you think tragedy on a giant scale is legendary, then I suppose you could say that, yes. The picture doesn't do it justice, really. But I suppose it's for the best that nothing survived to show how terrible it really was. This strange, he's speaking like he saw it with his own two eyes, man. Ah, so you're wondering how I know that picture isn't accurate? Can you work it out, I wonder? Because you were li alive back then? How the heck are we supposed to know? Well, never mind. The important thing is that you answered my question, Ollie. Here's your reward. And he gives us chart chests, which is pretty good. Gee, thanks, Horace. Now, I think it's about time I had a look around this mechanical metropolis, so I'll be off. When I get tired of all the smoke and noise, I'll be ready to try an island with a little more in the way of natural beauty. See you, see you again soon. Okay. So well, he's off. Let's see if we can acquire a uh, piece of heart here. What's this guy giving? Uh, restraint, is it? Yep, we've got restraint. So let's just get some. I think this is a this is a pretty cool and do I want to say inoffensive? An easy like a, a match game. This game has you got to match the right piece of heart with the right person lacking it. And uh, yeah, they got some pretty interesting stories to tell about why they're lacking pieces of heart and such. So there's a guy back at the entrance. Okay, yeah, first of all, I want to go back to the entrance and get the piece of the wizard's companion from the inn. Oh, and then there's this guy as well. So he normally asks us to collect familiars of a certain kind. So let's see what he wants. Der His name is Derwin. Uh, yeah, we'll assist him. So what is he? So he wants us to go and capture some magic, some creatures, and he would like to see automata, a large mechanical creature, a small mechanical creature, and finally a creature that takes the form of a brown cog. Yeah, we can. And yeah, we have to have them all in the the creature cage, and then uh, he will reward us with some stamps for our stamp collection. 
All right, let's uh, just stay at the cat's cradle. It's getting more expensive now, as you can see. It was only like 50, 50 Gs back in uh, uh, back in Castaway Cove. But I suppose we have to do it. Get these wizards' companion pieces. All right, good stuff. Now let's get out of there. Still got a lot more to see and do in this town. Uh, so let's check this particular, this odd little place on the left, and then we'll check out Swift Solutions. It does look pretty cool, though, doesn't it? I mean, this is one of the things I love about. Oh, we can't go there yet. You aren't from Hamlin, are you? Sorry, this is as far as an outsider can get. Okay, so we can't go there yet. We will soon, though. Don't worry. Yeah, so, I mean, this is one of the things I like about... Do I want to say JRPGs in general? But definitely something that this game does well. Just the, the distinctiveness of the different regions that you're going to. So, Alma Moon looks different from Ding Dong Dell, looks different from Castaway Cove, from the Fairy Playground, from uh, this place. Uh, bounty Hunts. Ghost Machine, let's get that. I don't think we'll be strong enough to take these things on. But look at the rewards. We get Lightning Bolts, Thunder Gem Sparks, Sacred Dagger. That would be nice. Actually, we've hunted that. We can get that now. Yeah, we can actually claim the stuff from the ones we've hunted. So let's do that. A Whalefish Tusk. And this should give us a Sacred Dagger, excellent. And here we have more uh, merit rewards. Let's, let's see what we can get now. So, Cheap Jack allows you to buy items in shops at a slightly lower price. This could be very good. Unfortunately, we can't afford it. We need a, we're a merit stamp away from being able to afford it. There's Cracker Jack, increases the amount of experience gained through taking part in battle. This is going to be very useful. Uh, but at the moment, we're getting some decent levels and decent experience, so... Jack-O-Lantern helps you strike fear into your enemies, causing them to drop more items. Always good. Jackpot 2 allows you to collect any glimpse that remain at the end of battle automatically. Jack at a pinch lowers the cost of continuing the game following defeat. Well, we don't get defeated that much. But, okay, so basically everything on this row requires two, uh, three merit stamps, and we don't have three just yet. But we'll get them pretty soon, don't worry. Let's check the errand board. There's new stuff. Go talk to more people. More stuff to do. Okay, I believe there's uh, something back in... Uh, is it the... Not, not the fairy playground. What is it, the, the forest that we were in before? Not the deep dark wood. The, the glittering glo grove? Yeah, I believe there's a, a quest way back there. But... Get some strong coffee. There's a, a, a particular spell that I would like to get before we go doubling back into those places, and that is, um... Is it tra travel or zip or zoom or something like that there? Okay. Upgrade time. What are we going to go for? Well, first of all, let's just take a look at the stuff that we just got for completing the quests. Uh, does Mighty want anything? So his attack is currently 99. No point giving him the Sacred Dagger. He's got an Iron Shield, so that's no good. Ooh. We could give Hank the whalef Whalefish Tusk. Now this is gonna... It's gonna make him very tough, but his accuracy drops. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, you... Man, this Sacred Dagger is pants. Occasionally nixes an enemy. Is that worth it, though? A fine frock? Fancy wearing a fine frock, Percy. Go, go. 
Uh, go, go. No, I don't want to lower Gogo's magic defense. Uh, Gemma. Now stick with that as you are. Ooh. Bones. Yeah, Bones likes that. Go on, Bones. And yeah, get a get a Shinbone shield. Alright, so now, let's take a look at what we can purchase here. So first of all, I think the Soldier's Sword, for sure. For Mighty. Hmm... Yeah, I think this is the hunt the haunted claws. Occasionally curses an enemy. You see it increases the accuracy as well. So I like that. Alright, so this here for Mighty. And he as he's my main damage dealer, I think that's That's where I'm gonna Oh, this is a lot. Things are getting expensive now. Oh, that's a nice auto blocks enemy attacks occasionally. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this. I know it's expensive, I know. But if we can get this stuff on Mighty. And yeah, th that, that should be okay. Everything else will wait until we have maybe a third merit card stamp. A mer merit card. And uh, we can lower the cost of all this here because it's getting expensive. But anyhow, let's carry on. Hello, good citizens of Hamelin. How you doing? Ooh, what's this? Make way for the royal procession! Hurry, clear the way, I say! Huh? Huh? Ah. A royal procession? Here. I love how the town just rearranges. That's great. Swain, you can be such a... a... pain. Where did you run off to? I had some business to take care of, and a little bird told me something that just might interest you. Huh? You mean... Yep, it's about the great sage you're all so eager to find. Tidy! Well, come on then. Where is he? Don't keep us in suspense, man. Ah, well, that's the thing. He's in the palace. The palace? You see how everyone here is forced to wear a pig mask? Well, they say there's this fellow who goes around without one. Apparently, he calls himself the Prince's Servant. And there's more. They say he's a young chap with long hair and fine features. Wait, that sounds like the boy in the picture we got from the Khalifa. Got it in one. Goodness, and there I was thinking you were completely useless. That's harsh. Doesn't mince words, though, does she? But how do we find out about... How did you find out about this, Swain? Oh, it was just something I overheard while I was wandering through the black market. The black market? You certainly seem to know your way around the city, Swain. Me? No, no. Never been here before in my life. I have a good nose for leads, is all. You don't get a face like this unless you've lived a little. Let's just say I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Hmm. So he serves the prince, huh? Then he must be real important. That parade was something else. Ha. Now talking about this porky prince fellow is thing is is Hey, 
flippin' heck, what's all this racket? I almost jumped out of my fairy suit, man. What's going on? The Ministry of Conduct announced a new emergency decree from the prison. Let it hereby be known that Article 2904 of the Constitution forbids passers-by from making eye contact. Say what? Anyone violating this law will be liable for a fine of 5,000 guilders or three years imprisonment. Call hail the prison. Flippin' eh, con- flippin' eye contact? What kind of law is that? I've never heard anything like it. Just what is going on here? This is insane. How could he? Oi, you wanna go find the Great Sage, don't you? Well, hurry up and head to the palace. You're right, let's go. Okay, so Swain's rejoined the party. Uh, let's see if we can get some more of these juicy pieces of heart. Oh, oh, this is kindness. We need the kindness earlier, didn't we? But we're not going all the way back to Castaway Cove to uh, give it to that merchant lady just yet. Because we have priorities. We need to get into the palace first. Okay, so he's uh, pretty generous, this fellow. And, uh, wait, around here? So, is it you who needs something? Simply will not do. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, young man, I'm quite in a predicament. I wanted, uh, wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant will just not blossom. Her birthday is just around the corner, and yet the stubborn plant refuses to cooperate. No wonder the poor drab's flustered. Her mom's going to be none, none too pleased. Could you put your heads together and come up with some way to help me? Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't know much about flowers. Come on, Ollie boy, you're a wizard, ain't you? You flip in magic and everything. There must be something you can do. Magic, you say? Oh, please help me out. I would be ever so grateful. Yeah, we know what to do. Okay, I'll give it a try. I mean, it would be too bad if your mother was disappointed on her birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'm counting on you. All right, we know what to do, don't we? Hold on a minute. Didn't you have a spell that makes plants grow quicker? Yep, we do. It's called... Quick and growth. Okay. Marvelous. Bloomin' marvelous. Hang about. It didn't flip and work. You're right, Mr. Drippy. Maybe I should try it one more time. It's no use, Ollie Boy. Using that spell willy nilly will just shorten that poor plant's life. Oh, how awful. We wouldn't want that. I reckon that this plant needs is a decent dose of sunshine. I'm afraid that sunshine is in rather short supply here in Hamlin. Oh, this plant will never blossom. Don't get your knickers in a twist, missus. There may be another solution like... I forget where I heard it, but someone said something about a very interesting creature that looks just like the sun. That's it. If we could get that critter to shine its light on the plant, it might blossom. There's there. Uh, there's sharp you are. That's just what I was thinking, Molly boy. Okay, let's go find it. Okay, this is an interesting quest. So basically, there is a familiar out there who... Uh, which... Uh, that brother looks like a sun and uh, we have to go capture it and show it to the plant and uh, hopefully that'll get it to bloom uh, let's, what's up with this guy drat and dog nation uh, what's the matter sir uh, this young lady who I've known since my earliest days and I plan to ask for a hand in marriage jeepers that, a, that sounds like romantic romantic far from it I'm afraid I cannot muster the courage to say a single word in her presence I've known her all my life and yet I find myself going out of my way to avoid her Mr. Drippy, I'm kind of new to this stuff. Is it normal, or...? Sounds like a clear-cut lack of courage to me. This poor lad's broken-hearted. Uh, what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna help him, that's what. Okay, let's give him some courage. I believe we should have some courage. Uh, let's give heart. Let's give some courage to him. Hey, why I have not... Why, I still have not seized the moment and asked for my beloved's hand in marriage. You just let your nerves get the better of you, I guess. But you're fine now, huh? I've never felt better. The stars are in alignment. I shall win her hand before the day is out. Thank you so much for listening to my woes. It seems to have done wonders for my nerves. Please take this for your admirable patience. Sweet 
Got some banana flans and some gilders. Well done. Oh, I just, I just, I love it. I just, I love these little, you know, these little short, quirky quests to help the people out. You know, some need courage, some lack restraint, some need kindness. It's, uh, it's just interesting. You lot of travelers, I take it. Boria. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamlin to meet one of the great sages, and we think he's in the palace. Is that so? And I suppose you'd like me to let you in so you can have a look for him. Am I right? Ha! A great sage indeed. Good one, boy. Huh? You've obviously not been listening to your emergency decrees. No one's been allowed anywhere near the palace for ages. Ha ha ha. These travelers, huh? Never seem to have a clue, do they? Uh, excuse me. At least we have some manners. I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned, and is regrettably quick to anger. We beg your pardon. Swain, what on earth are you... Shh, I've got an idea. Got an idea? What is it then? Got a way to get us into the palace, have you? Yes, and it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Keep your voices down, man. Haven't you noticed the guards' faces can't be seen under that armor they're wearing? What? You're saying we're going to have to wear those awful pig suits? But where do we get them, Swain? We're not going to have to steal it, are we? Pipe down, Mon, seriously. Alright, everybody just stay calm. I told you about the black market they have here in Hamlin, right? Well, they'll definitely have some pig armor for us there. We just have to go and get it. Really? Crikey, look who's got all the answers, huh? Hmm, I don't see why you couldn't always be this this useful. <laughs> Swain. Uh, okay, so... Oh, no, we want to be going this way. Yeah, so let's head back to the black market. And the black market just happens to be near the entrance of town. Okay, so you might recall this guy who didn't let us through earlier. Well, he's letting us through now. Well done, Swain. And we need to go in there, but what's this guy saying? Well, there you have it. It was all another waste of time. A waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She has always been poorly, and I devoted my life to trying to find a cure. Gee, it sounds like you both have a hard time. I hope you find the cure for her soon. Hmm, I was on the verge of completing a remedy I felt sure would cure her, but now I wonder why I bothered. Huh? But you were nearly there. Fury has been a fruitless exercise. All those years I've wasted, bah! Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it is over, and she must accept that. Uh, Mr. Drippy, I think this man might be... There's Sharp Ollie boy. You got it in one. He's heartbroken and no mistake, lacking kindness he is. Well, uh, let's see if we can help his kindness. We've got just the thing, buddy. world have I been playing at? Dawdling here while my sister, my dear sister suffers? Nido, you got your kindness back. Now you're cured. It's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude. Now, on with my research. Uh, please accept this. Yep. What does he give us? Pixie Dew and some Gilders. Sweet. Okay, wait. He's still... What? This is the calamity. My supplies have run dry and I was so close to finishing. Something wrong, sir? I was on the verge of completing the medicine for my poor ailing sister, but I've now run out of ingredients. What rotten luck. You must be real worried about her, huh? I am indeed. At present, she is con convalescing in Castaway Cove, but if I could cure her, she would ho be home and live with me. You mean she's stuck there until you finish uh, making her medicine? Jeepers, no wonder you're working so hard. I actually have a small favor to ask of you, if I may. Would you be so kind as to collect some feeling good fungus for me? Feel good fungus? Uh, okay. You would? Oh, that's simply splendid. That would be a huge help. You should find feel-good fungus growing to the forest to the west of the city. Okay, sir, leave it to us. Thank you so much. Alright, yeah, we'll get that fungus for you, sir. I haven't heard of feel-good fungus. But, uh... Wait, what? 
Oh, this is the town, of course. Uh. Now, wait, there is... Aha! Sealed by potent magic. Rats. Okay. Yeah, nothing we can get here. Uh, let's see what this chapo has to say. Powdered oak milk, fresh black truffles. There's nothing old Ab... Uh, uh, Abel... Ain't... Ab Abel ain't able... <laughs> uh, Abel ain't able to get. Uh, that's a tongue twister. What'll it be today? Haha, <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, have you? Hmm? Have I met you somewhere before? Uh, no. Now then, let's get down to business. I need some grunt armor. Four suits. Can you hear me out? Blimey, grunt armor? I don't handle gear like that, sir. But if I did, what would you need it for? You don't need to worry about that. Let's just say... The place we need to go has what you might call a strict dress code. Is that a fact? Well, even if I was in the armor business, gear like that ain't easy to get hold of. You'll just have to look elsewhere, sir. I see. Well, I had hoped that I wouldn't have to mention this. But I know about Grace. I know you love her, and that you tried to hide her. Don't say another word. Where did you hear that name? Ha. <laughs> you know how it goes. Spend long enough in the gutter and you're bound to pick up some dirt. All right, I'll get you your armor. I'll get it for you right away. Just wait a moment. Huh? Did you... Was that a threat? Maybe. But the end justifies the means, right? We need that armor. That's terrible. This isn't right. We can't take advantage of people like this. Yes, yes, all right. I did a terrible thing. You're right. I'm sorry. There, I apologize. Stop looking at me like that. It won't happen again, all right? Do you promise? Well... I promise to try my best. Hmm. You can't even make a simple promise? What kind of man are you? Here is your armor. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you going to put it on straight away? Yeah, if you don't mind. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Abel. Now look, I don't know what you're up to, but be careful, all right? Oh, and... Nice one, by the way. What? Your friend. I take my hat off to him. Only a real pro could have worked out my little secret. Funny, really. Before he mentioned it, I had him down as a right joker, but he obviously knows what he's doing, huh? <laughs> so, it wasn't a threat? Swain, look. Come on, let's get changed. Ah, so Swain clearly knows this place. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is great. Look, Swain, I'm sorry about what I said before, I just... It's fine. Now, how does your armor feel? Uh, I guess mine's a little big. Mine too. I bet I look huge. No, no, you look just like you usually do. <laughs> huh? What is that supposed to mean? Come on, guys, let's stop fighting and head for the palace. You're right, Oliver. Let's find that great sage. Blimey, Esther and Swain have got a right old rapport. With the, materi with the right material, they'd go... Oh, on a stand-up circuit. Okay, we have a suit of Hamlin armor. Now let's get out of here. Okay, so, yeah, you know what happens next. Infiltrate the palace. Find the great sage. And, uh... Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Banana flan. Yeah, infiltrate the palace. Find the great sage. And get to the bottom of things. But, um, yeah, we will take a quick break here, guys. When we get back, hopefully, we'll uh, be able to have a word with this great sage. You know how it is. Um, but, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.